main idea, main idea. Do you know the main idea, main idea, main idea? Morning, boys and girls. I hope every do everybody's doing fine today. I've noticed on the fellas that some of you are having a problem with main idea and details. Today, I'm going to read you a short story, and we're going to pick out the main idea and some details. It is called The Fair. We rode the trolley to the World's Fair. It was hot in St. Louis that summer of 1904. We got so tired of walking around all of the displays. Each one was better than the other, but we began to drag. How about ice cream? Dad offered. Who could say no to that? We found the nearest ice cream stand, but the owner looked wild-eyed. He had plenty of ice cream, he said, but no more cups to serve it in. Cries of, oh no, rose from the disappointed crowd. Suddenly, the man at the nearby pastry cart got an idea. He rolled some leftover dough into the shape of a cone. He pointed his finger at the inside space. A problem was solved. The ice cream vendor filled cones as fast as the pastry man could make them. It was messy, but it was such fun to slurp the first ice cream cones in America. Okay, boys and girls, so now we're going to look and find the main idea. I'm going to read the first sentence. We rode the trolley to the World's Fair. Okay, that's interesting. The second sentence says, it was hot in St. Louis that summer of 1904. Okay, I think that the second sentence would be the main idea because it gives just a little bit more detail about what this is going to be about. So the main idea would be, it was hot in St. Louis that summer of 1904. Okay, now let's give a few details that support that main idea. Okay, um, we could say um, it was very hot and dad offered to buy ice cream. Okay, then when they got to the ice cream man, there was a problem. The problem was that there were no more cups. So that's one good thing that we can learn from that, um, that ice cream was first put in cups, okay? So as we move along the story, another good idea, a supporting statement would be the pastry man rolled his dough into the shape of a cone and then the problem was solved. Okay, and the last detail would probably be that these were the first ice cream cones in America. Okay, and a couple of little other things that we can come from this, get from this passage. We can look up here and see these two sentences. This one says, when does this story take place? Okay, does it take place in the past, in the present, or in the future? And when I read the first, the second sentence, which is our main idea, it said that it was hot in St. Louis that summer of 1904. So we know we are in 2020, that 1904 is in the past. Okay, and our second sentence says, what word best describes the pastry man? Would it be frantic, creative, or messy? So we'll look back into our story and it says, suddenly the man at the nearby pastry cart got a good idea. He rolled some leftover dough into the shape of a cone and pointed his finger to the inside space. So we would probably say that he is creative because he was able to make a good situation out of a bad situation. And thus, the first ice cream cone in America were made. Hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls. Student.
students and parents. Uh, continuing with Ms. Daniels lesson, I am Mason McDade Jr. Principal of DC Wolf. Uh, I will go into the math component of Ms. Daniels lesson. This is the year that the cone was embedded. This is the year that we are in. This is a subtraction problem. The year that it was invented to the year that we are in. And as you can see, this is a subtraction or regrouping problem. We're taking the subject in from the menu in, and our answer will be the difference. Four from zero we cannot take. So we borrow one from our, we borrow a 10 actually from our tens column and we make this 10. So now we can do four from 10 leaves six. And zero from one leaves one. Oh, now I got another problem. I can't take nine from zero. So I've got to borrow from the thousands place, 1,000, and it turns this into 10. And now nine from 10 leaves one, and one from one leaves zero. So it was 116 years ago that the coin was invented, the cone. Okay, moving into a little social studies. The cone was invented in St. Louis, Missouri. This is Missouri, and St. Louis is located in Missouri. And as you can see, it is in the southeastern part of the United States. So is Alabama. Here's Alabama where we live. And here is Missouri. So we're in the same region of the United States. I hope that this little social studies lesson, the reading lesson, and the math lesson have gotten you interested in doing your sellers today and really making it work. <laughs> Inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on And if you want it Inside your soul Just open up your heart Let music take control I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body When it drops Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally The room 